Welcome to the Digital Caliper Roundup series of videos. I tested seven different digital calipers to see which digital calipers were the most accurate, the most precise, and the best value for the dollar. This video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Mitutoyo Digimatic 500 Series Absolute Origin Digital Caliper. Mitutoyo is kind of the de facto standard or the go-to brand for a quality digital caliper, and uh, we'll show you why here in this video. So they use a, a plain generic box for all their digital calipers, and they just put a different label on it. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, actually uh, saves the company hassle, and it's a simple design. The plastic case is of a basic design also, uh, and in fact some of the cheaper companies actually copy the Mitutoyo case design, so they must be doing something right there. You open up the plastic case, and uh, you will see with every digital caliper you receive from Mitutoyo, an inspection report. This basically shows that someone at the factory actually took the caliper through a final stage of quality control measurements and did a series of measurements to make sure that the caliper performed within tolerance. That is a key factor in a quality brand and a quality product. That kind of weeds out all the duds at the factory. Whereas with the cheap Chinese stuff, um, sometimes you end up being that last step in quality control. What else is in the box? You got your battery. They staple it to the certificate and uh, your basic instructions and cleaning and basically all your paperwork there. I usually keep the uh, all the paperwork with the cardboard box and I keep that in a separate place and then I just keep my caliper with its plastic case for daily use. In the box you can get a sealed plastic bag. Just cut it open on the end. Pull out your digital caliper. And you're going to have a little paper there that keeps the, the end from puncturing the plastic bag. And they even include a little quick instruction sheet there. You can just pull that off. Now, here's your Mitutoyo Absolute Origin Digital Caliper. It's really a, a really good digital caliper all around. It does not have an auto on-off feature. You have to make sure you turn it on and off when you're using it and not using it. Uh, that's kind of one of the downsides. A lot of people... Um, complain about that feature, but you just get used to making sure you turn it off. The battery does last a long time. Um, it doesn't have a large battery draw, so even if you forget to turn it off, um, as long as you catch it within a day or two, it's you're, you're going to be fine. Um, the other thing that uh, some people complain about on the Mitutoyo is the battery compartment design. You've got that tiny little plastic tab there, and you can see it's it's kind of small and flimsy. You need to make sure you're careful with that. You know, it's a $120 caliper. Make sure you treat it with respect and treat that battery compartment door gingerly. Um, as long as you're careful with it, you should be fine. So between the battery compartment door and remembering to turn it off, those are the only two major design flaws. Now, I've got the 4-inch version here. I purchased the 4-inch for the Digital Caliper Roundup because I wanted to see if a smaller caliper would actually be easier to use over the long run because I do mostly measurements of objects that are between one and two inches. It turns out that that extra two inches that you get on a standard six inch digital caliper actually makes a big difference in terms of balance. And especially when you come out here and try to measure something bigger, it becomes a little awkward. Not that it's not perfectly accurate and good at that point. You just like to have that extra two inches out here to play with. So I would recommend the 6-inch uh, version. I would also recommend the 6-inch version because it usually does come with the data output port. The 4-inch version does not. Um, and I found that the, the data output is actually a really nice feature to have. Um, looking at the eye gauging version of the Accu Remote, uh, the eye, eye gauging version of the Absolute Origin Digital Caliper, you see that it, it does have the data output port. And that's kind of like their version. That is actually my number one uh, recommendation in terms of value and accuracy. So overall it's a really good digital caliper. They do have a couple different options in terms of the depth gauge. This one happens to have the round depth gauge. And I kind of like that. It gives it a nice clean sleek look. Um, nice one stage depth measurement uh, versus your standard one which you see on the other Metatoyos and uh, pretty much all the other digital calipers which is a, a stepped blade style depth measuring gauge. Nothing wrong with either one, but I do kind of like that round one a little bit better. 
So Absolute Origin is uh, one of the key features of a Mitutoyo. That means that it always remembers exactly where it is in relationship to zero. Doesn't matter how fast you move the measuring body, it always knows where it is in relationship to zero. It also gives you the ability to come out here and do increment measurement. Um, say you want to go and no go apart, or you, you want to uh, measure in relationship to this point. Just hit the increment button, and now you're measuring plus or minus that point. And then when you're done, you just hold down the increment button, and you can always return back to absolute origin. And it always knows where it is in relationship to zero. So make sure you check out the full video review on the seven digital calipers to see which ones I recommend and which ones are total duds. But Mitutoyo is a good all-around brand. If you're willing to spend $120 or more, uh, you're going to get a really good digital caliper. Um, let's show you some of the, the tolerance values here. I noticed a big uh, discrepancy in actual rated accuracy and tolerance, especially on the cheaper Chinese ones. This is a 10,000 spheler gauge here. We're going to go ahead and measure it at full depth. And I'm going to go ahead and switch it over two inches. It does not have fractional measurement. Um, some of the cheaper Chinese ones do have fractional measurement, which is kind of more of a sales gimmick than anything. Um, when was the last time you measured anything down to the 128s? So millimeters and inches in decimal form is pretty much good enough for everyone. So we're getting 9.5 there, and it is supposed to be a one or a 10 thousandths feeler gauge. So that is within um, the five within the half a thousandths of a tolerance and the feeler gauge is probably slightly off too. So we're at 9.5 there. Now let's come out here to the tip. If it's within spec you should be getting a value that's less than one and a half thousandths um, difference between full depth measurement and at the end here. So we'll come out here to the end And in my testing, it was usually about a half a thousandth. Sometimes you get a little bit more, sometimes you get a little bit less. You need to make sure that you are using a consistent amount of pressure, depending on where you're measuring. No matter what you're measuring, you always want to make sure you're using consistent pressure and you're always using the thumb wheel. And you want to make sure you have clean faces. Make sure you check out my other video on properly using your digital caliper and how to make sure your faces are clean for the best and most accurate reading at, at all times. So um, overall, getting maybe a half a thousandth of variance between full depth and end measurements. That's totally within the 1.5 thousandths inch of a tolerance. So that's it for uh, the Mitutoyo. Uh, can't go wrong there. Be sure to check out all my other videos.